Hi everyone, I'm Catherine and this is Gracie Designs. So today I'm going to show you how to make this adorable, um, quick and easy uh, Valentine's Day candy pouch. For this project you need worsted weight yarn, size J crochet hook, darning needle, pair of scissors, and a piece of ribbon about 20 inches long. And of course candy. Before we start the pouch I'm going to do a quick tutorial on a double crochet and a single crochet. Yarn over the needle, through the stitch, yarn over again back through the stitch, yarn over through two loops, and then through two loops again is the double crochet. For a single you go into the stitch, yarn over, pull back through the stitch, yarn over and through the two loops. I am using a Brava yarn by Knit Picks. Uh, you can use any worsted weight yarn and one skein is more than enough. So to begin we're going to make a slip stitch, cross over the yarn, and then bring a loop of yarn through that hole and just pull. Place the loop onto the crochet hook and now we're going to chain 14 stitches. I really do love um, Brava yarn by Nipix, but you can use any worsted weight yarns. Um, their yarn is great though, if you want to check it out. Even though the project is 14 stitches, we are going to chain two extra stitches on the end, which will um, make the sides stay even. It's kind of like two stacks of stitches on the side of your next row. So this pattern is going to be worked in double crochets and then single crochets. So our first stitch will go into the second chain from the hook. Here's my double and now I'm going to do my single. And that's the way we're going to do the entire pouch. One double crochet and one single crochet. We're going to continue this pattern um, for 30 rows. I'm going to speed up some of the sections of the video so I can get to the next step. And as we work through the pouch, when you begin every row after your chain two, you're going to start with the double crochet. And at the end of every row, it will be a single. So if you don't end in a single crochet, you might have um, made a mistake in your pattern. So you can always pull it out and redo the row. This is one of the reasons why we work um, even amount of stitches for the project. My first row is finished. I'm going to chain two and then turn. This is really a pretty pattern just by um, switching the stitch. As you can see here, because it's a double and a single, we have a high and low. We start with the double crochet in the first stitch and we work the pattern to the end, ending in a single crochet. I'm going to speed up the next row and I'll probably show you uh, one more row before I show you the finished size. So you can see how pretty this double crochet, single crochet stitch looks. As you can see, the pattern is starting to take shape. It's perfect for a um, Valentine's Day candy pouch. As the pattern comes together, you can see that you have a low and high stitch. In the low stitch we do the double crochet and the higher stitch we do the single crochet. Again we chain two, turn, and start that first stitch with a double crochet and a single crochet, repeat to the end and we should end with a single crochet. I'm going to finish the third row now and uh, I've already completed a 30 row 
piece, which I'll show you after I finish this row, and we can start the next step. So here is my finished piece, 30 rows. It's real pretty, this stitch. Really like it. You can do a lot of things with this pattern. So I guess you could say that there is a right side and a wrong side for crochet. On this, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but this is the right side, and I'm going to turn it over and fold the piece in half. So I'm going to crochet the sides together. As you see, I didn't cut the thread after I finished crocheting. That leaves me with one less thread to clean up later. When crocheting the sides together, it doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to crochet into every single stitch on the side. Uh, you can just do as many stitches as needed. Don't pull it too tight when you're crocheting. You basically just want to make a nice seam on each side. See, I'm just going into the edge just enough and I'm just using a slip stitch. Probably going to do maybe 10 to 15 stitches. You want to keep it kind of loose. You don't want it to feel tight and stiff. Speed it up to finish this side. Finish the last stitch with a slip stitch. You can see it's, you know, just enough to keep it sealed. I'm going to cut the thread. And then we're going to do the other side. Now the other side has a thread from the beginning of the project. I probably could have made that longer and then just use the entire piece as the thread to crochet it together. I made it short, so I'm going to add some more yarn. The next time I make a, another pouch, I will leave a nice long um, tail so this way I won't have this knot in my project but we can hide the ends it's not a big deal that's what we'll use the darning needle for now we'll crochet this side together we'll clean up our threads and then we will thread the ribbon through the pouch so I'm going to speed it up So we can get to the next step. Pull the yarn through, cut it. Now we'll use the darning needle to clean up these threads. I don't know if you saw my video on the fold over method to thread a needle. Um, it is a short. Actually, I think it was one of my first shorts. If you can, check it out. So as you see, I fold the yarn over the eye of the needle and then press it tight. And then you can just um, slip the yarn right through the eye. Then we sew in the ends. You just have to sew in a few stitches, just enough to hide the thread so it doesn't um, come out and we will trim the excess thread. One more to go, and next step is finished. We trim the excess, and now we can thread our ribbon. We are finished with that and we can turn our project right side out.
ribbon has to be about 20 inches long. I'm using this silver ribbon, which I got in a bag of all different colored ribbons, scrap ribbons from actually Michael's on sale. And uh, I'm going to use my needle to thread it through the stitches. You can crochet it through as well. I would start the ribbon in the center of the pouch about an inch, inch and a half down from the top. And then just thread it through the stitches. Try to get into the stitch, not into the actual yarn fiber because then the ribbon will fit through. I'll go all the way around back to the front center. I'm going to speed it up again. And then we will fill it with candy. And we will have our Valentine's Day crocheted candy patch. I finished threading the ribbon. So you could just pull it to tighten it up. This was a scrap, I just used the whole piece. Like I said, about 20 inches long is a good size for the ribbon. I am filling this pouch with chocolate candy. What's also nice about the pouch is that after the candy's gone, um, you still have the pouch as a, a keepsake. And then I will tie the bow. And it makes a great little gift for anyone on your Valentine's Day list. This Valentine's Day pouch takes no time at all. You probably want to make more than one. So happy Valentine's Day to everyone. I hope um, you enjoyed this video. Um, please uh, remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share my videos, and uh, we'll see you next time on Gracie Designs. Mm -hmm.